Well, this here is an amoeba, which is just right now in the process of pooping out uh, a fairly large diatom. Hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. And today I'm visiting again one of my favorite places to collect water microorganisms. It is this water fountain here and where there is water, of course, there is all the life. The weather has been uh, quite nice during the last couple of uh, weeks and therefore this means that there was plenty of algae growth and also uh, growth of other microbes. And if you want to collect microbes, I highly recommend that you collect not the water itself, but rather the solid material that you find growing on the water surface and also on the side um, of the water fountain. Because many microorganisms, they like uh, to be connected um, uh, to, the, to a solid surface. Even those microorganisms that are moving around fairly freely, even they like to be around a solid surface because they like to feed on a solid material. And here we have already got some of this solid material. These are the diatoms that I found. Um, most of them were quite large and quite long. Um, and the smaller diatoms that were present, well, I found them, many of them, actually inside those amoeba. If you look very carefully into the cell, you're going to see that some of there are some green parts in there as well. These are smaller diatoms that were engulfed, eaten up by the amoeba. And uh, what I saw is, is that, uh, that uh, some of those amoeba actually also expelled those diatoms again because the diatoms are a little bit difficult to digest. They have a cell wall made of silica, very indigestible. Silica is actually chemically related to glass. And uh, therefore I've seen that some of those amoeba actually uh, well pooped out <laughs> or did so something called exocytosis to use a biologically more correct term. Even here in phase contrast, look, uh, it's actually uh, quickly expelling a smaller diatom um, again. And I've seen this several times um, already. The bacteria were actually quite low um, in the sample. And um, the reason is, is that those amoeba um, essentially have also engulfed them and eaten them up. And apparently maybe the bacterial count was so low that they now had to resort to, to other organisms like diatoms um, to feed on. Here again, uh, we have a look um, at uh, an amoeba, which is now expelling the diatom. And a few seconds later, I saw it again, the very same amoeba expelling a second smaller uh, diatom as well. It went so fast that I also did this a little bit in slow motion um, so that uh, you can see the process a little bit better. Well, I think uh, that amoeba are a very fascinating uh, um, specimen to observe. However, they're not always quite easy to see because many of them are actually moving fairly slowly and therefore they can be easily overlooked. And uh, they also do not uh, have a very strong stain or color. And sometimes the objects that they eat, the other bacteria and algae that they eat, they may sometimes they actually give uh, the amoeba um, a specific color and this allows me also to check a little bit in the cell um, to see what they have eaten because the inside of the cell has a different color. At this time I would like uh, to thank again all of my Patreon supporters. Happy micro hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.